Look, you guys, I've thought about it, and I really don't belong here. I think I should go back to the kitty table. You can't go back. You can never go back, bro. <gasps> You're one of us now. A grown-up. Better start working on those taxes, Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Ah! Ah! Please! I have to get back to the kitty table! I'm not a grown-up yet! I'm still a kid! One of us. One of us. One of us. One of you is the perp. But which one? Hey, ah! I might have a tip for you. Really? Wait, why do you want to help? I don't care about being grounded. My life is just an endless mental prison anyway. But it's not fair that you have to miss your thing. Thank you. So what do you got? Lynn has eaten spicy meatball subs for 10 straight days. You know what that does to your digestive system. That's disgusting, but also elite. I like your instincts, kid. You want to team up? Sure. I've got nothing else to do besides bear the weight of the world on my shoulders. Right. Uh, hey, what's with the light? Why don't you admit it, Lynn? You jammed the John. I think those tights are cutting off oxygen to your brain. Oh, yeah? Then explain this. Nobody can eat this many subs and not wreak havoc on the plumbing. Nice try, genius. But my favorite roller derby team is playing tonight, and I never bombed the bowl before a big game. It's bad luck. If I go number two, we won't be number one. Gross. If you want to know who plugged the porcelain, why don't you ask Lisa? She keeps a log of all our bathroom habits. Pun intended. Of course! Lisa's weird poop study. Let's go see this joker. That's a two of diamonds. Ugh. Watch in awe as the amazing Lincoln displays his unbelievable yo-yo skills. I shall now rock the dog. Not you, Charles. I meant the yo-yo. I shall now go around the world. Sorry, still talking about the yo-yo. <laughs> the amazing Lincoln will now take a brief intermission. Yikes. I better go tell Lisa. You've completely destroyed my life's work! I despise you, and you no longer exist to me! Yeah, I'm not telling Lisa. Oh, come on, Charles. When did you get a conscience? I've seen you poop on the couch. Besides, if I just walk away, what's the worst thing that could happen? I'll just remove the evidence and they'll be none the wiser. I can't see a thing. Ugh. I thought my first concert was gonna be unforgettable. It could be, but I don't wanna interfere. No, please interfere. Okay, first up, we gotta get to the front. Whoa, I can't cut in front of all these people. That's why they invented crowd surfing. What? Oh. Woo, this is awesome! Careful, guys, cradle the neck. Enjoy the ride, dudes. Whoa, how did you get up here so fast? I have my ways, now come on. Pose it like you chose it. Boy, did my sisters have it wrong about Luna. She's not nuts at all. She's just really passionate about the things she loves. And in the words of my favorite band, sometimes you gotta... Grab life by the lips and give it a smash. Sloppy Joe Tuesday, Lamo. Signed, Ronnie Ann. And there's a heart. Ooh. Lincoln's got a girlfriend. What? And no, I don't. One's the wedding day, Lincoln. Haha, <laughs> 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 very funny, guys. Ronnie and Lincoln sitting in a tree. K I S S I N G. <laughs> guys, Ronnie Ann is not my girlfriend. She's rude and gross and totally annoying. I'd rather lick the bathroom floor than kiss that weirdo. <gasps> Ronnie Ann! 
Whoa, Lincoln. I think you really hurt her feelings. Come on, Clyde. Ronnie Ann is the toughest girl at school. She'll be fine. You monster! Ow, what was that for? You made Ronnie Ann cry! Cry? I didn't mean to. Wait, how do you know? <laughs> Bobby told me. Right before he broke up with me! <laughs> what? Why does Bobby care? Because Bobby is literally Ronnie Ann's brother! He said he could never date someone related to someone who hurt someone he's related to! Or something like that! Ronnie Ann has a brother? I thought she was raised by trolls. <laughs> that is exactly what Bobby was talking about! <laughs> you have to make things right with Ronnie Ann. Okay, okay, I'll call her right now and apologize. No, nuh-uh. Actions speak louder than words. Bobby has to see you being nice to her. That's the only way he'll get back together with me. Which is why we're going on a double date. What? It's all been arranged. We have a reservation at Jean Juan's French Mex Buffet at 6. And you will make her feel like the most special girl in the world! Ugh, I'd rather lick the bathroom. I'll go iron my khakis! Oh, ah, nothing like waking up in... Water! We're in the water! Ah, how did this happen? Shelter? It's making a deal! Yeah. yeah! We're saved! And all because we built our own shelter. Like the top. <laughs> Lincoln! Are you okay? I'm fine. I landed on a really soft rock. <laughs> Not a rock, moose! Two tough guys like us can't handle, right, Clyde? Whoa. Ah! Ah! Oh. Clyde, are you okay? I'm fine. I landed on a really soft rock. Not a rock, a beehive. Ah! So, how old is the birthday girl? Four, five, thirteen. than my usual crowd, but no problem. My comedy is ageless. Hey, guys, who's ready to laugh? Whoopsie doodle! Now who put this here? Um, you did, obviously. Maybe these glasses will help me see better. Hi, you awesome! I really gotta get my prescription checked. Mom, look what that loser clown did to my poster. Oh, look at that. I have a message too. Mom, didn't I tell you not to text me yet? Whoa! Remember guys, never walk in text. Ugh, now he's gonna lecture us. He ruined my cake. Mom, why did you hire him? I swear, if I had a door around me, I would slam it so hard right now. Um, excuse me, everyone. There will now be a brief, unscheduled intermission. Text amongst yourselves. Where are you going? I paid you to perform for an hour. But I'm doing my best material, and they hate me. Well, try something else. You're a professional clown, aren't you? Remind me not to book Funny Business Inc. for my kid's birthday. Me neither. Oh, me neither. I don't want my kid to hate me. <laughs> Sorry, gotta run to the little clown's room. Today is the fifth grade internship fair, and Clyde and I are making sure to put our best foot forward. Because there's only one place we want to work. Let's food and fuel. Good morrow, fine sir. I'm Clyde McBride, and this is my associate, Lincoln Loud. Together, we're known as... Clinkin' McCloud. We're a team. We'd love the opportunity to work at your fine establishment as, as a, a team. team. Two for one? Oh, well, now you're speaking Flip's language. If you peruse our joint resume, I think you'll find... Never mind that. Either of you got a criminal record? No. You're hired. Woohoo! 
We'll get to see where the nacho cheese comes from and read the comics as soon as they're delivered and use the Flippy machine. Oh, Flippies. Come on, kids. The movie starts in half an hour. Dibs on holding the popcorn. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Not so fast, son. I wish you could come, but with your bad luck, who knows what could go wrong? The movie could sell out! I could get stuck behind some lady with a beehive. Someone could get scalded with molten butter. <gasps> I didn't even think of that one. Sorry, kiddo. Oh, no problem. You guys have fun. Don't worry. I'll tell you how the movie ends. Nah, what's missing one movie when it means having more awesome me time? Who is unlucky? I'm unlucky. Who's unlucky? I'm unlucky. Take that, wild card Willy. Ace Savvy just dealt you some justice. Sorry, Lincoln, but you can't sleep here tonight. We just can't risk it? Are you kidding me? No! Hey, buddy, think I could bunk here for the night? Me too, Charles. Guys, I think you accidentally locked me out. Kids, we've got a special treat for you. Since your father's presentation went so well... And your mother's root canals, too. We thought we'd celebrate with a trip to the beach tomorrow. Oh, I guess yeah. you feel yeah. happy. We're going to the beach tomorrow? Ooh, gosh, sorry, son, not you. Someone could get attacked by a shark. Or caught in a riptide. Or stung by a jellyfish. <gasps> if that happens, I call peeing on the wound. Come on, you guys, be reasonable. Your bad luck, Lincoln. You can't come. <gasps> oh, did the loud girl wake you? Shh, it's okay. Okay, Calliope, you got your choice of organic beet mash, stewed apricots, or gluten-free rice meal. Organic beet mash, good choice. Did you know Clyde's bet a supper at chef camp? Here comes the airplane. <sighs> So let me get this straight, Lincoln. Your plan for keeping the egg safe from Ronnie Ann is to surround it with a pack of half-savage five-year-olds. Whoa! Back, you animals! <laughs> oh, you're gonna make a great dad. Smock's on, everyone! See, Rochelle, your mom loves you. It's just safer if she loves you from a distance. At least you have a mom. My partner took one look at me and decided to take an F. Her loss. Has anyone seen Lincoln? I wanted to take our egg to shop class. Phew. Well, if anybody does see him, tell him I'm taking Toby home with me after school. No more excuses. Oh, sorry, Lincoln. We were just looking for a quiet place to put Calliope down for a nap. A little rubber cement and some paint. And voila! Now you got yourself an unbreakable rubber twin. Ooh, yeah, I love this song. You know who else loves this song? Ronnie Ann. Oh, uh, I just remembered. I hate this song. Let me tell you guys about our dessert specials. We've got the heart-shaped cookie, the lover's sundae for two, and the tiramisu. <laughs> Nobody wants desserts. Let's play some games. I want a dessert. Let's play Dance Dance Revolution. Never mind. Uh, let's just watch some TV. Uh-oh. Those are Ronnie Ann's favorite tag team wrestlers, pain and suffering. Oh, this place is lame. Who's up for a Boys' Day Out music montage? This 
this boy's day out has been a blast, you guys. That's great to hear, Lincoln. Would you say you feel a sense of closure and more optimistic about the future? Um, that's pretty specific, but yeah, I guess. Oh, uh, whoops. Sorry, guys. I have to go take care of that thing again. Oh, I can't believe it. So much for closure. He's back at Ronnie Ann's. Ooh-wee, he's got it bad for that gal. Hello? Oh, my faithful crew guys. Thanks for coming back. There's a real ghost in here. We're not your crew guys. And why should we believe anything you say? Because my cherry soda just disappeared and everyone knows groundskeeper Jim loved cherry soda. Wow, you're really going for it. <laughs> Uh, that seemed pretty real. Uh. <gasps> Groundskeeper Jim's shovel! Uh-huh. Oh. Ch Ch cherry uh. It is him! Uh. And he's on the run! What do you say, guys? Should we catch him? Uh. He's over there! <laughs> I got this! Follow my lead. No! Ah! It's working! Ha -ha, we, we got, got him. him! Yeah! Incredible! That was amazing, Hunter. I'm going home to write you another fan letter right now. I believe! I believe! I feel bad lying to Clyde, but... I'm glad he believes again. This paint can shaker really did the trick. And the fishing line on the door was perfect. And that spring behind the picture frame worked like a charm. And that was a nice touch with the flying soda can. I didn't know you were gonna do that. <laughs> yes, and wait, I thought you did that. No. <laughs> Legends of the Hidden Temple with your guide, Welcome to our very special father-son episode. Today's theme is the lost city of Atlantis. Now let's meet our first team, the orange iguanas, Lynn and Lincoln Loud. You guys make a mean lasagna. What did you think about our five-hour audition tape? Huh? Uh, didn't see that. And now let's meet their competition, the silver snakes, Stan and Steak Stanko. Who will the gods favor in today's battle? Find out when we return. Lasagna, huh? We got on the show by winning five buff man competitions in a year. Well, congratulations to you both. <laughs> yeah, get used to saying that, because we're going to stomp your butts. Yeah, you ever see a hammerhead go after a guppy? The shark just gets in there and... <laughs> just to be clear, you're the guppy. No, no, it was clear. Ah, don't worry about those guys. We're just here to have fun. Agreed. We're not going to let them ruin our thing. Good attitude, son. Slap me some tail. Oh, not so hard, though. Paper mache. All right, teams. Atlantis is sinking, and the only way to safety is by crossing the moat in these special water shoes. The team that flees the city the quickest gets the most points. And go! Wait a sec. Our tails! We can use them as paddles. Now that's what I call father-son teamwork. Tell me about it. <laughs> You're still in last, losers. Well, Steak, that's not really important to us. Yeah, spoken like a true loser. Ha, <laughs> zing! Good one, Dad. What do you think those guys had for breakfast? Jerk chicken? Zing! Good one, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and so... The city of Atlantis disappeared into the ocean, never to be seen again. Okay, teams, you've heard Omek's story. He will now ask you some questions about it, and whoever can answer them will descend the steps of knowledge. First question, where is the lost city of Atlantis rumored to have sunk? Atlanta! That is incorrect. Off 
off the coast of Northern Africa. That is correct. Way to go, Dad! Big whoop, you got one right. Let's see you do it again. The shifting of the tectonic plates. That is correct. Utopia! That is correct. Yeah! Wow, the orange iguanas have clawed their way back into this race. Up next, Omex Temple Games. Well, here it goes nothing. <gasps> ah, look at those losers in their underwear! <laughs> <laughs> Keep your head high, son. Watch for incoming tomatoes. We saw you guys on TV. You have such a great relationship. I was my dad and I was... Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, Dad, this is dumb. This airport's full of losers. Wow, what a nightmare. I was definitely right to run away from my sisters. They would have ruined everything. Don't listen to them. They'll ruin everything. They don't know what they're doing. Whoa, maybe they do know what they're doing. <gasps> which means maybe my sisters know what they're doing. Which means maybe their plan's better than mine. Which means maybe I should stop talking to myself because I only have five minutes to find them before the bus arrives. Oh no, I'm too late. They're gone. Ah, I'm gonna miss my big chance. Ahem. Oh, thank goodness you haven't left yet. Look, I was wrong. I want your help. My plan is going to fail. Tell me your plan. Tell me what to do. Lincoln. Tell me what to wear. Lincoln. Tell me how to act. Lincoln. Tell me what to say. Lincoln! What? We weren't going to tell you any of those things. What? Why? You didn't want to change me? No. We wanted to know why you changed yourself. I just... I just thought... Lincoln, you're perfect just the way you are. You're kind. You're fashionable. You're rockin'. You're funny. You're tough. You're deep. You're, you're friendly. friendly. You're smart. You think a yacht. Now, give me that jacket. And go out there and just be you. Ah! I can still make it. Nice to meet you, Lincoln Loud. So, you're new to Royal Woods? Yeah, it's lonely being the new kid in town. Maybe you just haven't met the right people yet. Would you like to sit down? Um, I didn't think you were gonna catch the bus. <laughs> yeah, good thing I'm dressed like a caution cone, or the driver never would have seen me. <laughs> you're funny, Lincoln Loud. Carrot stick? Thanks. Just two guys checking out mufflers. What an age-appropriate way to spend a Saturday. Totally. I don't feel bad at all for missing the convention today. Ah, here's a beauty. I bet it really muffles. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, I gotta go use the <clears throat> bathroom. Bug flew into my throat. A bug? Are you okay? What were its markings? <laughs> I didn't see it, I just tasted it. <laughs> uh, be right back. <laughs> huh, there is a difference between Douglas fir and evergreen. <laughs> cool! Ace! So I threw wildcard Willie in the clink, then shuffled off to the Fortress of Solitaire. No way! Oh, sweet! Excuse me, Mr. Savvy. Big fan here. Can I get a quick photo? Now, I just have a few questions. Starting with episode one. Sorry that took so long. That bug was really stuck in there good. That's okay. A bug actually flew into my mouth, too. I went to a different bathroom. Well, guess it's time to buy one of those mufflers. I can't wait to see the old maid on the villain panel. Me, too. I hope she brings her evil cat. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, right? So glad we're past all that dorky stuff. Let's go grind or 
or shred, or, you know, yeah, whatever it's called. Nope. 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 <gasps> Jackpot! We, we got, got two, two of the kind. kind. And then Lynn came out of nowhere and roller skated right over him. It's okay. I can fix him, though I'm not sure he'll ever shuffle again. Dad, one eye Jack and I have solved the case of the missing baloney. We got the culprit right here. Good work, boys. You've done it again. Ace, Ace and Jack, Jack forever! Clyde, I can't do this anymore. So what if we're too old for Ace? I'm just not ready to give him up. Me neither. I don't care what Dr. Lopez says. Please don't tell her I said that. I don't want to hurt her feelings. Clearly, this makes us happy. So I say we enjoy it as long as we want to. Let's go get our stuff back. And our tickets. We can still make the convention. Let's just hope Pat and Tucker are both working today. Lincoln, check out those columns. Do you think they're real marble? Probably. This place is so much bigger than our school. Good thing they gave us maps. Uh-huh. Guys, 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 ditch the maps. First rule of survival, don't act like a total noob. But we are noobs. Yeah, and if some upperclassman realizes that, you'll be a prime target for pranks. Like the kid who asked an eighth grader for directions on the first day of school. The poor fool got sent on a wild goose chase down in the tunnels under the school and didn't make it out until the whole day was over. <gasps> don't be... Noobs. Okay, homeroom. There are no assigned seats, so it's time for rule number two. Don't get stuck with a crummy desk. Move out! Whoa. Oh, sorry. Please, it's all yours. I pull out the chair for you, but <clears throat> it's attached. Wrong. <laughs> hey, back off, pigtails. My buddy saw this first. <laughs> Nobody's messing with that. Ha. Yep, just eating some raw fish for breakfast. Pretty wild, huh? Meh, not in Japan. How about covered in syrup? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to ride to school? Thanks, but I'm good. Watch out for pot holders. What? Well, this is different. Not sure how you're gonna participate in today's spelling bee. <laughs> woo, 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 woo! This guy's totally insane! Go Lincoln! You never know what this fella's fixing to do next. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unpredictable loud. What's he gonna do next? Uh, hang on. I think I found the light switch. Whoa, even the recycling building is space themed. Welcome to the flight simulator. What? We really need to work on our map reading skills. Let's get out of here before it starts. Door locks engaged. Preparing for takeoff. Please take your seats. <laughs> Commencing countdown. Three, two, one, blast off. Whoa! Your task is to safely navigate through the asteroid field, or your what? ship will be destroyed. Ah! Right! Left! Right! Oh no, sharp left, sharp left! Direct impact. Severe damage to core. Life support system will shut down unless it's repaired. How are we supposed to do that? Put on your spacesuits and exit the ship. Locate the blinking panel. Disable it before time expires to complete the mission. Okay, Clyde, we can do this. 60 seconds remaining. 59, 58, 57, 56. There it is, the control panel! 
zero gravity. Uh, can somebody help us get down now, please? Huh? No, oh, be right there. The results are in, and well, it appears we have a tie. Lucy and Haiku each have three votes. As sitting president, it is my duty to choose the... Is this the Mortician's Club? <gasps> Lincoln? What in Hades' handbag are you doing here? Oh, well, I was hoping to join you guys. I've really taken an interest in death lately. Ah, oh, that snake! <laughs> that was an excited scream. Really, Lucy? You're normie, brother. Why, I'm as surprised as you are. Very well. As a new member, I suppose he may vote in our current... Uh... I vote for my sister. Thanks. <laughs> oh, wow. Guess that means I won. There's them all! We made it! <laughs> Dang it! We forgot the roundabout at Fourth and Maple! <laughs> We can still stop them from getting inside. Let's gear up. Right, brain protectors. Here goes everything. Ah! 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 We're out of juice. Forget the blasters. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. You're hurting your fathers! Huh? <laughs> Where is everybody? I'll just boogie my own board. Mm. Oh. Uh. Where could they be? Slide? I thought we were all gonna go sand boogie boarding together. Well, yeah, but then Richie sold me on making cherry jam. It's a real hoot if you can stand the pain of the cherry pits. Oh, no! Oh, no! You should taste some. It's delicious. Ugh, I'm not eating your toe jam. Come on. Actually, that's not bad. Stella? I thought we were all gonna hang out. Well, we found out Cheryl used to drive in Daytona, so... Sorry about coming in hot, Pumpkin. There is something about an all-terrain vehicle that makes old Cheryl crave the need for speed! Woo, let's ride! Yeehaw! Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, delicious. Finally! We've been at the park a whole day, and this is the first time we've all been together. Wait, where's Rusty? I know I'm late. Let's just say I had a run-in with a hungry turtle. Sorry, Lance. It's okay, just... Wait, did you call me Lance? My bad, bro. Must have forgotten your name for a second. I can't remember the names of people I'm not friends with anymore. This is it, middle school, and we'll make this day look easy. But we're not lit, we're not cool, and my stomach's really queasy. I don't think I can go through with it. Just take a deep breath and get a grip. Our strategy is tight, our game is strong. We got this, we got this, we'll get through it all together. We got this, we got this, we'll we're a team, we're a troop, we're the best forever friend group. I've got your back, I know that you've got mine. Trust me, we'll be fine. Feeling impending doom, getting shoved inside a locker. I can't find my classroom, and this machine just ate my dollar. I miss pizza day already. Look at this delicious mystery spaghetti. We can rule these hallways side by side. Trust me, we'll be fine. We got this. We got this. Trust me, we'll be fine. We got this. We got this. Trust me, we'll be fine. Whoa. 
guys, I'm Mrs. Salter. Okay, so here's the lowdown. Juice bar in the back, help yourself. Also, there are cards on the desk with your names on them. Rip hardcore themed. I love the show. And he is a personal friend of mine. Whoa! <gasps> See, I told you guys there's nothing to worry about. Um, Mrs. Salter, I can't find my desk. My name's Lincoln Loud. Oh, okay. Here you are. Looks like you're in Mr. Bohofner's class. <gasps> no, that can't be right. I know I requested this class. For the love of sponge cake, say you turned in the form. Say it! I did. See, there's a check mark. <laughs> That's not a check. That's a flippy stain. <laughs> Mrs. Salter, can't he stay? I mean, he's already here. Please? Yeah, we have to stick together. Yeah, we just sang a dang song about it. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I can't do this! <coughs> Hi, everyone. We uh, had a dance routine prepared, but we're actually not going to perform it. Because of us, our friend didn't get to perform his magic act. That magic show was really important to the feller. So Lincoln, if you're here, we're really sorry. <laughs> Guys, I don't think he's coming back. Okay, sorry. I guess that's the end of the talent show. No, it's not. Now, who's ready for some magic? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lincoln the Magnificent. And these guys in the shiny pants are my volunteers. Their methods may be questionable, but they're always looking out for me. Chef Pat, kick it. <laughs> what? Today's middle school news. Good morning, kangaroos. To start things off today, we have a new segment from Chandler called Bro in the Know. Hey guys, Chandler McCann here from Bro in the Know. Did you know that I'm the Royal Woods Book Slam champ? Check it out. Ah! Hey! Go! Oh, watch it! Ah! Ah! Hey! 910! Ooh, a new record! And this is your boy Chandler signing off for Bro in the Know. This is not good. <laughs> hey, check this out. Stinker! <laughs> Listen closely and you shall hear a sea song ringing in your ear. Maybe we're supposed to do something with that weird guitar. Oh. It's Captain Kit. Luna, can you play a sea song on it? Okay, but uh, I only know one, so I hope it works. Go, 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 you boat, jelly down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Hmm, that jam usually slays. Let me see the map. Oh, now I get it. Sea song. Ooh, like with your eyes? I don't see songs anywhere. No, silly. The letter C. I was playing in the wrong key. Row, 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 you bow, jelly down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh. Huh? Oh. Oh. We did it! We, we found, found Captain, Captain Kit's treasure! treasure. <gasps> I've re-engineered Lola's ride with the latest cutting-edge spy tech. Like your loafers, you can even control it with your watch. 
Oh, but uh, do me a favor, will you? Return the car in one piece. My technology is useless against Lola's wrath. <laughs> you have my word. All right, let's see what this baby can do. Welcome, Mr. Steel. Are you ready for a game of Agents and Malice? Where are you? I am everywhere. <laughs> <gasps> there you are. End of the line for you, mystery villain. <laughs> Looking for this? <laughs> Time's almost up. Think, Steel. Think. Over, Mr. Steel. Potty is such sweet sorrow. Uh, activating Steel Mobile. Activating Rescue Mode. Uh, activating Heal Springs. <gasps> gotcha. It's over. Show yourself. Congratulations, Agent Steel. You've won my game. Now, here's your final surprise. Rusty, it was you this whole time? Mm -hmm. Hey, Mr. B. Loud, what are you doing here? And why are you dressed like a shrub? I know you like to spend your free time in the great outdoors, and I thought you could use some snacks. I got berries, salmon fritters, and my personal favorite, graham crackers with honey. Get that out of here! Yeesh, someone is hangry. No, I'm tracking a bear and you just served up a bear buffet! <laughs> Run! Ah! <laughs> Smoke. <laughs> oh, hey there, Mr. B. I just finished reading that survival guide you wrote. So I was showing my friends here how helpful your heat sourcing technique is. Loud, not indoors. <sighs> Lincoln, there you are. The app has gone kablooey. That explains a lot. What do we do? We have to reset the supercomputer or risk losing everything on the loud cloud. <gasps> the appliances are out of control. To my Warning, low memory. Warning, low memory. It's unresponsive. We have no choice. We have to destroy it. What? But we'll lose everything. It's our only option to stop this mechanical mayhem. Is anyone else seeing green, or is it just me? Hmm. <gasps> I know how to destroy this thing. Be right back. Ah, where is he going? Looks like we're finally offline. Fear not, Father. The rage of the machines has been quelled. Yeah, we're celebrating with flippies. Wait up, kids. What about me? Oh, me? 